Okay, first question is that why it's so important for you that, that the environment protection and the, the healthy things enforced? I mean, who wants to start? Me? Uh, the whole world is affected by the environment and as, as we are realizing now that we are all affected by everything else on the planet, you know, and the rainforest affects all of us because it provides 30% of the oxygen on the planet, mm -hmm. it is the source of many medicinal plants and hundreds of thousands of plants and they've only researched a small percentage and from that small percentage most of our medicines are, are, are made. So there's so much importance in the rainforest that we don't even know yet. So um, for that reason and for the reason that my husband has been working there for 30 years and doing so many wonderful things down there and making these fantastic herbs that I have been enjoying. And when was the first time when you, when you have connection with the, with the forest, when you, when you were there first? Uh, when I first went there was right right before I found I had breast cancer actually and it, it had a very powerful effect on me, the rainforest. And in fact, I wrote an album about it called Gaia because I felt this amazing energy down there. And so later on when I met John, it was um, an affinity we had because we both cared about, about the forest even though we didn't realize it at the time until many years later. But um, yeah, there's a, a wonderful connection. If you ever have the opportunity to go, you will feel it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I started uh, into the rainforest about 30 years ago, uh, going down. I was just drawn to, to the adventure, the history, the treasure, and went down looking for, for treasure and artifacts and uh, made my living finding different artifacts, pre-Columbian artifacts and gemstones. And so it, it turned into the, uh, the plants and the plant medicine after I had a personal experience uh, with some of the indigenous people. Uh, with the plants that really helped me. And so the last 20 years has been all about the, tre the botanical treasures. Mm -hmm. And right now in the world, you know, we have for the very first time, we have access to these extraordinary healing elements that we can bring and get a personal healing out of. And then it's so important because there's a global healing that can occur too. She mentions the oxygen the rainforest produces. It's the climate stabilizer um, of the world. And the healing, I believe, for all our degenerative health issues are, are in the rainforest. And so it's important to help the in Indians get the rights and deed to their land and educate uh, uh, people. Speak loud well degrees because uh, yeah, it was a big thing for me when I when I saw the spin first uh -huh. and then I saw I don't know many hundred times or more. Oh my goodness! We always <laughs> <laughs> and we are crying about it hopelessly we want it, so it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's deep deep breath. Um, could you imagine have her? Have, have you ever imagined that th this film, it, it would be so big and it would be so pressure for, for us after 32 years? I know, it's amazing. I, I don't think anyone, you could never imagine when you were making something that all those years later that people would still love it and still talk about it and children's children's children are now enjoying it, you know. Uh, I, it's so wonderful. I feel very fortunate to be a part of something that's so popular and loved. And what about after the film? Because uh, at the beginning you were in shows and you had shows, you had um, uh, CDs or yeah, records. And then after this film that everyone knows you and everyone just wanna wanna be a Sandy from the film. <laughs> How was it that your or that your heart or what did you feel about it? Well, you know, by that time, but I'd been in show business a long time it wasn't suddenly you know it was after m many years and um, so it was it was a wonderful exciting time it still is and now I think my life is even more exciting because I'm doing other things but Greece will always be an important part of my career and and people will always talk about it with me so I'm just I'm lucky you know, not many people ha are in a, a movie that is still popular after you know 32 years or whatever it is yeah we are a fashion <coughs> website, you know that. Yes. Uh, and how did you like the uh, the changing of of uh, the dresses or of the changing of Sandy in the film? Because at first, yeah, she was so pure, and then she was some kind of rock lady at the end of. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I thought it was. I mean, when we were working it out, it was funny because we were filming the movie for maybe two months. And so for the first six weeks, um, I was wearing the, you know, the sweet dress and everything. And then on the night that we tried the outfit for Sandy 2, as I call her, um, I, John Travolta was filming his song at the drive-in, the song Sandy. And it was late at night and I was trying on all different outfits and I... They did my hair differently and they did my makeup and I walked out and all the crew went because they didn't recognize me, you know, and I thought, whoa, it is amazing that you just change, put something vampy on and then everything changes. Mm -hmm. So it was very interesting um, because I was the same person, but it was just the outfit and the hair and the attitude. Was and which character is close to you? Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> He's not but I'm not telling. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite designer? Um, a few different. I I I like to use different things. Eclectic. It doesn't have to be famous. Just if I like it. Like I don't know who these people are. I just like. I just like their colors. Um, but I, um, I like Dolce & Gabbana sometimes. I like Tommy Karen sometimes. Um, Ralph Lauren. But then there are other. Smaller funky things I like too. The psychical is the sexiest song ever. It says the yeah. yeah right. It says the Billboard magazine now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think about that? Because uh, that clip, yeah, it's a little bit hot. Really, I didn't <laughs> think so. That's what's funny. When we made that video, um, the song was out, and I said. <gasps> This song is too naughty. We need to do a video and let's do it about exercise and then it won't be racy. <laughs> and I never, I thought it was funny. I didn't see it was sexy at all. So I think it's funny that they think it's sexy. So. <laughs> um, no, not so funny things. Uh, <laughs> after after the, the, the breast uh, cancer, you moved to the forest. You moved, you moved to close to the nature after when you had this and why why did you have this connection with the forest oh well, shifting well i guess attitude. you know I, in australia i live next to a rainforest mm -hmm. if that's what you mean I, my house is next to a rainforest and so i found a lot of healing in the rainforest and then i met john around that time right afterwards i think and yep. we were just friends but he gave me some rainforest herbs um, which i took and they did help me feel better so I knew John, but it wasn't until 15 years later that we connected and fell in love and got married. But I think the rainforest has been a theme. I feel a great affinity with nature, and I, nature is a very healing thing. And when you're when you're not well, I always find nature is the best healer. A plant, a flower. There's always beauty somewhere in nature. Okay. What are you doing in, in 2010? What's your plans for this year? You're always moving around and one. To show the, the, the Always moving around. I think it's really important now. We're kind of on a on a mission to explain the value of the rainforest and the healing. We'll be uh, back in Peru in June uh, of this year, and we also have uh, just now made a special little plan to go to a little uh, Caribbean island that we like. That's mm -hmm. nobody is there, and have some have some uh, beach time. And uh, then we'll be in Australia for a little bit. For my hospital, because uh, I'm building a hospital, a cancer and wellness center in Australia. So every year I go down for a month and do fundraising for the hospital. Uh, that's very important to me because it's not just a cancer center, but it's about the wellness aspect, the healing part of uh, oh, helping people through cancer. So it helps the body, mind and spirit, not just the body, but mm -hmm. the whole person. And what else are we doing, honey? Then we're going around the world talking about Amazon Herb Company and about Zamu, the wonderful organic juice we have and the skin care and all these things that we, we care about. And whenever you use um, our products, the, some of the money goes back to the ASEA organization that helps the children at the Amazon.